excuse me, I had idiots on the street here pulling right out in front of me. Anyway. Hi guys, Steve here. Uh, I've not posted anything on my channel about the coronavirus because to do so I feel is just like beating a dead horse. There's too many videos out there anyway to begin with and uh, putting one out there is not helping anything at all. So I refrain from doing it. However, I was watching a video yesterday from Colin Noir. Uh, he's also a big 2A supporter. And he was referring to the shortage of ammunition and guns and everything in uh, various states. And I happened to notice this Friday, I'm sorry, Thursday, yesterday, when I was trying to place an order for some more target ammo. And uh, I like to keep stock of uh, my ammo. And I like to purchase a little, just about 50 or 100 rounds more than I shoot when I target practice. Anywho, um, I went to Target Sports USA and tried to place an order, but everything that I shoot is out of stock. Uh, I'm shooting big bore for now. I mean, they have the 380 and 38 uh, and 357, I believe. I didn't check that really. Uh, as far as the defensive ammo, they've got that in stock, different brands. Uh, but everything I shoot, I shoot big bore 45 ACP. Uh, they're completely out of stock. And there's big noticing that there is a 12 to 15 day wait to resupply. Now, with that being said, I didn't place an order, couldn't place an order. They wouldn't take any orders on uh, out of stock no, uh, ammo. However, they are going to notify me when it's back in stock. But I'm going to check out this ammo shortage here locally in Pensacola and uh, see if we have an issue here. So. I'm heading to the range right now. I'm going to the indoor range. I belong to two ranges, an outdoor range and an indoor range. And the uh, indoor range is where I, you can get ammo and everything. They're, full, they're a full gun store. So I'm going to go to the indoor range here and see what their situation is. See if they have ammo. I'm also going to do some target shooting. So if I haven't shot, I haven't been to the range in about three months due to life getting in the way. I haven't had a chance to get there. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to head to there, uh, to my indoor range, check out the situation, and I will report back and let you know what I find out. I may uh, end up posting a video recording something inside the range itself. I'm not sure yet. Depends on the situation, how I feel, if I want to do it or not. So, I'm going to report back uh, it'll follow up on this later on this video or next. It'll be coming up shortly here. And I'll let you know what the uh, ammo situation is for in uh, for Pensacola, or at least in this area at all, and see what happens here. In any case, be back with you in just a minute. Bye. Now there is one thing I did want to bring up also, and uh, before I switch over, uh, that's the. Uh, issue about all the people panicking and hoarding and everything uh, I, I don't you know I think they're foolish or wasting their time and besides that they're picking up the wrong items they're picking up tons of toilet paper you know we're not fighting dysentery here but if people would just use and this is just my opinion of course but if people would just use common sense and judgment and not hoard and try to prevent everybody else from getting anything. Uh, they could, you know, this this whole situation would be a lot smoother for everybody. But you now you've got those numb nuts out there that want to hoard and want to want to just go ahead and uh, keep everything from themselves. You know, it's the entitlement group. Uh, you know, the, you're familiar with the entitlement group. You know, they just think the whole world revolves around them from day one. Anywho. Yeah, they, this, if people would just use common sense and judgment, <laughs> keyword, keyword judgment, <laughs> they don't have that, you know, this entitlement group. Things would actually be a lot smoother for everybody, and 
there'd be uh, more product on the market shelves for everybody else. Okay, with that being said, I'll be back with you in just a minute. Bye. As you can see, the range is pretty well empty right now. There's not too many people in the shop. Uh, if they're not having any issues with ammo. And I got in some good practice today. I shot both my 45s. And a couple of strays, but all in all, I think my objective was met. That's from seven and a half yards. All right, I just left the range. I uh, ended up buying me uh, another gun. I got me a 1911, this older model. It's used, but uh, it seems to be a nice weapon. And I have to show it to you. I'll put it on layaway. I paid for half of it today, and I'll pay for half of it uh, next month. Pick it up then. In any case, uh, yeah, the the uh, shop was getting a little bit busy when I got out of there. Finally, it was picking up people coming in. Uh, they did mention that they were selling guns like crazy people. They are starting to sell their rental guns, too, because... They weren't getting any more weapons in. Uh, they weren't out of ammunition, target ammunition. They had plenty of target ammunition. However, self-defense ammunition, they had no no self-defense at all. So, that's the state of that. Uh, they also told me that they're wondering whether the government would be shutting them down or not. Uh, they, weren't un they weren't sure of that, but they think maybe with... Uh, just the gatherings of people there that they want to shut it down. They don't know if it had something to do with the anything to do with the guns themselves or the type of business just because of quarantine or keeping people out of public places. Now, like I said, when I got there, there was very few people shooting, um, but there were still still several people there. Um, there were a lot of people looking at guns too. Uh, the only other thing that I can think of, they said that they've had, they had no problem with the background checks. They, the background checks are still being done. Uh, unlike a, uh, somebody in Tennessee reported they, their NIC checks are completely down. They won't even do them. But they, they're they having no problems with background checks. I didn't get a background check done on mine yet because I'll do it when I pick up the firearm next month. But They said they had no problem with the uh, background checks going through they are being delayed uh, slightly, uh, but nothing really, um, nothing out of the ordinary. Just uh, maybe an hour, a couple hours at best. Anyway, that's about it. I'm heading back to the house now. I've got to clean. I've got to clean my two forty fives, and I shot about no uh, about two hundred, maybe 150, 200 rounds uh, between both of them. It did pretty well. So, that's about it. This local gun shop, the one I deal with, one of the ones I deal with, has no problem. They seem to be on top of things. Only only thing they said that they have no, no uh, self-defense ammo, just plenty of target ammo. But anyway, until next time, and we'll talk to you later. Have a good one.